Okay, these are my two WWV TRF receivers I designed and built. I got the idea after seeing a video on YouTube uh, by another ham radio operator, Aaron Parks, who demonstrated his own 10 megahertz WWV uh, receiver that he used to calibrate a frequency counter. I, I took a different approach than um, Aaron as far as my actual uh, circuit design. And I wound up just using a single integrated circuit for the uh, required gain. So I'll briefly describe the circuit I've got here. Uh, we'll just use the, uh, the 10 megahertz receiver here is on the left. The 5 megahertz receiver here is on the right. They're very similar. We're using the same circuit board. Okay, this is the back side of my TRF receiver. You'll see the power on off, 12 volts DC power in jack, and the antenna input jack. And on the front was just the uh, 50 ohm output, which goes to the oscilloscope in this case, or could be going to a frequency counter. And I'll briefly explain the uh, the TRF receiver. I've got an input crystal filter here. It's uh, feeding a tune circuit for the uh, single IC amplifier, which is an MC1350. And then uh, the output is broadband transformer. And then another uh, crystal filter is uh, on the output. And that's it. And the input was designed for 50 ohm uh, input to the crystal filter. And the output was, again, designed for 50 ohm output uh, connected to the uh, crystal filter. 5 megahertz receiver just has an extra component, which is C17, and also a couple of... Uh, transformers uh, for impedance matching, one on the input, one on the output. Okay, I'm going to de demonstrate my test setup here for calibrating my frequency counter. This is my home frequency counter. This is my TRF receiver, 10 megahertz. It's uh, going to my channel 1, which is a yellow trace. And I've got a TCXO, temperature compensated crystal oscillator, that's going into channel 2, and that's a blue trace. And uh, its signal is also going out and going to the frequency counter. So I'm going to double check. Yep, I'm triggering on channel 1. And uh, just the channel 1 scale a little bit. The signal is getting so strong from WWV. So the yellow trace is WWV. And I'm going to go to the temperature compensated crystal oscillator. I'm going to go ahead and change the frequency. Make it so its waveform moves relative to the WWV waveform. We'll go uh, so it's moving my right to my left that means it's a higher frequency than the WWV yellow trace and you'll see right now the frequency counters reading a little bit above 10 megahertz it's actually reading uh, 10 megahertz plus 6 Hertz or 5 Hertz this is the uh, Hertz digit so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make it so the blue waveform actually moves from left to right relative to the WWV signal which is that case and now we should be reading lower in frequency and we are instead of reading 10 megahertz we're reading uh, 9 hertz below 10 megahertz so now what we're going to do is go ahead and adjust it so the blue waveform which is from the TCXO is stationary relative to the WWV signal it's a very coarse adjustment, but we'll slow it down here. That looks pretty good. It's moving a little bit from right to left, but very hardly at all. And if we come down and look at the frequency, it looks like it's jumping around between uh, 9.999999 and 10 megahertz exactly. Um, since the blue waveform is stationary relative to the yellow waveform. At this point, I would go and, have, and actually calibrate the frequency counter um, internal clock, adjust it so it displays exactly 10 megahertz, which I've already done, and that's why uh, we're so close at this point. Count how long it takes for this peak to move, this blue peak to move from one yellow peak to the next yellow peak. That will tell us, uh, that gives us an indication on how far off in frequency we are. So we're going to go ahead and do that. 
one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand took about four seconds for the blue peak to move from one yellow peak to the next yellow peak that indicates that we're within a quarter of a hertz of the 10 megahertz WWV signal so under this condition uh, we know the blue signal is is uh, just slightly higher in frequency uh, a quarter of a hertz higher in frequency than 10 megahertz and that signal is being fed from the, the TCXO that blue waveform is being fed into the frequency counter so we know um, that we should adjust that frequency counter to read 10 megahertz and I previously did that and that's why it's reading 10 megahertz okay what I've got now is my antenna coming into the TRF receiver the output of the TRF receiver is going into a 20 dB preamp the output of that preamp is directly feeding this frequency counter so we're looking at the 10 megahertz signal from WWV directly you can see it being displayed on my frequency counter and you can see my frequency counter is um, looks like I've got it adjusted pretty well it does uh, bouncing between 9.999999 and 10 megahertz and you can see uh, with that preamp in line uh, and at this time of day propagation in the antenna I'm using uh, we're able to acquire the WWV 10 megahertz signal quite well uh, as far as the signal level is strong enough with that 20 dB amplifier to drive the frequency counter. The WWV 10 megahertz signal is very strong. I've got it just coming directly in from the TRF receiver into the frequency counter. Every uh, time it flashes, that's an update uh, of the reading. I'm not using any uh, termination right now. Okay, what I've got right now is my 5 megahertz TRF receiver feeding directly into my frequency counter with no termination and uh, the signal has come up as the evening has uh, gotten later here and you can see right now without a preamp uh, we're often uh, got a strong enough signal that we're registering the 5 megahertz signal directly from WWV on the frequency counter so every time you see that uh, cursor flash it's a updated value and uh, my frequency counter requires about a 50 millivolt RMS signal and so apparently the WWV signal into the frequency counter right now is uh, 50 or 55 millivolts RMS uh, or greater without my termination I have no termination here on the feed line going into the frequency counter and uh, you can see as if we get some fade in the signal the frequency will drop okay this is an example showing the 10 megahertz WWV signal out of the 10 megahertz TRF receiver and the 5 megahertz WWV signal out of the 5 megahertz TRF receiver and you can see they're uh, pretty stationary relative to each other which is what we'd expect and we're triggering off of the channel 2 which is the 5 megahertz signal